In this example, we have a, uh, a plate that's shown in this figure that represents a cross section of a metal beam with negligible heat flow in the direction perpendicular to the plate. Okay, so each, uh, each of the nodes that you see there, one, two, and three, four, uh, we're going to let those denote the temperatures. Okay, so at node one, there'll be, there's, we have temperature one, at node two is temperature two, and so on. And so those, each of these four nodes, they're inside the plate. So these are what's called, these are the interior nodes of the mesh that's shown here. And so we can approximate the temperature at each of those nodes by taking the average of the surrounding values. Okay. And based on that, then we can, uh, we can come up with a, uh, a linear system. And then from there, we can write that linear system in a matrix form. Okay. So let's get obtain the uh, equation for the uh, temperature at node one okay so basically okay looking at node one okay there's four surrounding points okay you have you have a couple uh, boundary points and a couple interior points okay so for t1 okay it's going to be, okay, we're going to take the average, right? So again, we have four surrounding points, and we're using the closest points to node one. So it's going to be one-fourth of 20 plus 10 plus T4 plus T2, okay? So that's for the first node, okay? All right, going to the second node. Okay, we have node one, boundary, two boundary points, and node three. So the temperature at node two, which we're denoting, denoting by T2, is gonna be one fourth of 20 plus 40 plus T1 plus T3, okay? Okay, moving to node three. Okay, we have this surrounding point at T two. Okay, at, actually at what well, node two at node four and two boundary points. So the equation for node three. Okay, so the temperature at node three is going to be one fourth times. Let's see, we have forty plus thirty plus T4 plus T2, okay? And for the last node, okay, for node four, okay, we have node one, node three, and two boundary conditions. Okay, so the temperature at node four is going to be one fourth of T1, well, let's start with the constants, of the boundary conditions. So we have 30 and 10. So 30 plus 10 plus T1 and T3. All right, so there's our four equations. Okay, all right, so now, um, okay, we can go ahead and what I do is multiply both sides by four, okay? So I'm gonna move this one up a little bit. Okay. All right, so starting with the first equation, okay, we have, uh, let's call this, I'll just go ahead and number these. So we have equation one, two, three, and four. So from the first equation, we have four times T1 equals to 30 
plus T2 plus T4. Equation 2, we have 4 times T2 equals to let's see, 60 plus T1 plus T3. Equation 3, okay, we have 4 T3 equals to uh, 70 plus T2 plus T4. And the last equation we have 4T4 equals to 40 plus T1 plus T3. Okay. So then from here, okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put all the variables on the left side and all the constants which correspond to the boundary conditions on the, on the right side. Okay, so we're going to have 4t1 minus 2t minus t4 equals to 30 minus t1 plus 4t2 minus t3 equals to 60 uh, minus t2 plus 4t3 minus t4 equals to 70 and minus t1 minus t3 plus 4t4 equals to 40. Okay, so now we can easily uh, write our matrix system for this. Okay. So we have four equations for unknowns. Okay, so okay, so we have um, we can write this as a matrix. Okay, so we have for the first for the first equation we have four negative one zero one. Okay, so we can create our augmented system from here. Okay, so on the right side it's going to be for the boundary conditions. Okay. So again, we have four, uh, negative one. We don't have a T3, so we just put a uh, placeholder there. Okay, put zero there. And then uh, we have a negative one, since we have minus T4, okay. Okay, so we're using this convention. So this is first, the first variable, second variable, third variable, and fourth variable. For the second equation, we have minus t1, so we have minus 1, um, 4, t2, and minus t3, so we have minus 1, and we don't have a t4 there, okay. and we have 60 here. For the third equation, we don't have t1, so we put a 0 here, minus t2, so we have a negative 1, t3, we have a 4, and we have minus t4, so we put a negative 1 there, and this is 70. And then we have minus t1, so negative 1. We don't have a t2, so we put 0 here. t3, we have negative 1. And then 4, t4, we can put a 4 here. Okay, so this is our augmented system for the uh, for application. Okay. And the, the coefficient matrix that you see here, okay, uh, for this Okay, for this particular right, matrix, which is the coefficient matrix, is actually what's called a symmetric matrix. Uh, basically, a symmetric matrix is a matrix where the transpose is equal to itself. Okay, so we'll talk about the trans we'll talk about the transpose uh, later on, but uh, it has a lot of benefits. Okay, uh, symmetric symmetric matrices have a lot of nice um, applications as well. Okay, but anyway, this is our system and. Uh, we can actually use this to solve for uh, for the for the temperatures at the at each of the four nodes. Okay, and looking here, I forgot to put here's 40. Okay, okay. So we have a right, so we have four by four coefficient matrix and a and a uh, a b vector that's uh, four by one. So this is in the form of A times X equals to B. Okay. Right. 
well, it's really, well, yeah, that's the system that we're working with, okay? So x hat, so x solution vector would be corresponding to the temperature, the, um, the temperature values at which we're trying to solve for, okay? So that is the setup, okay? So later we'll talk about, um, uh, we can talk about using the inverse to solve such a system, okay? And we'll also look at the possibility of using, well, we'll definitely look at the use of using the uh, LU factorization to solve a system, okay? So you can actually solve this using um, using the uh, row operations, okay? And putting it into a reduced row form. Okay, so this is all they wanted for this problem.